welcome to What's the Deal with Sam? Starring Sam Lillian. Join Sam as he discusses a wide variety of topics. Bang now. Now Thank let's you. start the show. Thank you. What's the deal with pre-orders nowadays? They're like pre-orders before a days. With the ground. Uh, basically, this thing is talking about uh, pre-orders, which I'm sure I've bitched about in the past. If not on the show, then just, you know, in conversation, in comments, uh, on the internet, in life. Because with video games, when you pre-order stuff, it always seemed kind of silly to me. And the idea that, like, oh man, like, you just wait until the game comes out and get it then, right? And uh, really the main reason to pre-order that before was like, oh yeah, well, at first it was just you could secure that you're going to get a copy, right? It's a popular game. Um, you know, unless you're going to go out and you need to get it day one, um, you know, if you need to do that, I guess you can just pre-order and you can guarantee that. Otherwise, like, you could probably wait for it to come back again because if it sells that well, they're probably, probably going to keep making them, right? Um, so, like... Maybe for that, there's a reason to, or just you have the money now, and you're like, well, let's pay the money now, and then I don't have to worry about paying it later when the game comes out, and whatever, and keeping that sum of money with me, maybe. There are a few reasons to be like, maybe you want to do that. Also, the idea of pre-order exclusives became a thing, and then that was already bad, right? Because a lot of times those pre-order exclusives became part of the game as some other way to get it, as like... Maybe it's paid DLC, or maybe after so long, you know, you get a different edition of the game that just has it in there with, like, the end of the year, game of the year thing, complete, digital, deluxe, super, whatever the fuck edition of the game. Uh, and it used to be a thing of, pre-orders are kind of annoying, but there's maybe some point to them, and they're trying to, you know, add in some kind of fake point to them beyond that. But, um, the thing is, uh... Now it's become a lot shittier because now it feels like pre-orders are almost a way the the only way you can get some games. The pre-orders are out here um, for you to to um, you know if you don't pre-order a game, they might not make any more of them, and then you just you can't get them, um, right? Especially this is especially true for things like you know limited editions because they're limited. Um, and, uh, you know, special editions, maybe they're doing some reproductions of certain things. And the problem is that a lot of times these editions of games, when they're put out in limited quantities like this, um, people just buy them up so they can, you know, hold on to them and hope the value increases, so they can scalp them, you know, sell them later for a profit. They don't really care about actually playing the thing. And for the people who actually do want to play that, it means they have to sit around and hope they can get it, you know, faster than, you know... Uh, some kind of, like, price sniper or a bot that can just go on and just you try to collect all of them, you know, that they can. Um, and so it can be really frustrating that something that sounds cool to you is coming out and you're like, well, shit, I can't get it now because either a bot or a scalper or a scalper's bot came out and got it before me. Um, or maybe just, you know, other people who wanted it also, you know, actual people maybe even got it. So, what the fuck? Like, um... Uh, it, it's become a point of now it's not even, you're not even pre-ordering to guarantee you're getting it, um, because really you have a better chance of just getting the normal game when it comes out, if it's a game that is going to have a standard edition, right? Because your pre-order probably isn't going to go through, because people are going to be, you know, jumping all over those and then wanting to sell those, because even for games that, you know, uh, uh, for the pre-order things, right, even games that are going to come out later, sometimes people are so desperate to be the first ones to play it, to play it day one, right away, as soon as they fucking possibly can, um, will sometimes pay, you know, a little bit more money just to get the scalped pre-order code bullshit from somebody else. And it's become a, a really gross thing uh, in the game industry, I guess, and just the game community, the gaming world. World. And I don't... I don't know. At this point, is there any point to really doing pre-orders anymore? And the only reason I can see to do them is to get something that, you know, you can't otherwise get. Um, and that's sad because for things that you can't otherwise get, it's almost impossible to get those now because of all the obstacles in your way as someone who is just a person trying to get a game. 
Um, and uh, that's sad at this point. It's just, we're just given pretty much every reason to not bother with pre-orders uh, ever again at this point. There's just, you know, unless something changes, um, pre-orders are just kind of a, a waste of time uh, and uh, definitely a waste of money. Um, so what's the deal with pre-orders? They're like orders with the ground.